here we are. And uh, this is a unique setup here. We are at a place called Fossil Falls. Right off the 395, about two hours from LA, almost to Lone Pine, where I was headed out of default because I want to test out my new Astro modified camera, the A7 IV. The Sony A7 IV Astro modified by Spencer's camera. Just got it, and I wanted to find a place where I could get a vertical panorama of the winter stars okay i love the winter stars so the biggest stars in the night sky and what better place than than here this is exactly what i had in mind we have these volcanic rocks place these rocks right in the foreground and do a vertical panorama of all the beautiful winter stars and all the beautiful hydrogen alpha nebula and whatever the hell else is up there uh this 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 is my first i haven't even snapped a frame with this camera yet so one of the biggest parts of astrophotography and really any landscape photography is waiting waiting for the light to come waiting for the stars to come out uh, and that's what we're doing here now we are waiting for the stars to line up uh, the way we need them to. So I've got another four hours or so to wait here in the car, uh, which sounds sounds terrible uh, to wait out in the middle of nowhere in the dark in the car for four hours. But um, I've got my laptop here. I've got cell service somehow. And, uh, you know, it's really actually kind of nice. I have nothing else to do but to be productive. So here we are at the scene. Now I have never taken a shot with this camera. This is the first ever shot with this camera. Let's see what kind of hydrogen alpha emissions we're getting here. Live look, first shot ever. And there you have it. The Astro Modified Era has officially begun and believe it or not, there's a lot to be excited about in this picture. And if you take a second to like the video, I'd be happy to point those things out to you. So if you zoom in, here is a very unofficial outline of the Orion constellation. Now that in itself is great, but it's not the reason why we had this camera astro modified. So the excitement lies in the fact that it's very faint, but there are some things showing up here that would not show up normally. The most exciting of which has got to be Bernard's Loop. Now, I'll be honest, I had no idea what this was called before I looked it up. But I've always seen it in all these astrophotography pictures, and I've always been really excited to have it in mind. So, Bernard's Loop is an emission nebula in the constellation of Orion. It shows up in this image as a really faint red ring around the Orion Nebula. I have it highlighted here, uh, but it's going to be much more pronounced once I stack all of these images, and uh, you'll see that a little bit later. Also very exciting, showing up in all their glory, are the M42, again, no idea what that was called before I looked this up, and the Horsehead Nebula, all part of the Orion constellation and all something I've wanted for a long time, so it's really exciting that they're actually showing up in my first ever image with this camera. So very, very pleased at this moment. Another little gem here that is really pronounced once we stack all these images is Canis Major, right in the middle of the winter Milky Way. And uh, that's all I have in this first image, but as you'll see in just a moment here, the entire photo has it's just a lot, a lot going on, and I'm really, really happy uh, that we were able to capture it. All right, so what we're doing right now, as you can see, the camera is uh, taking some exposures, 64 exposures to be exact, 64 shots at 1.4 with the 24 millimeter G Master. And they're all gonna be 13 second ex exposures with the 24 millimeter. And I watched a really great video. I, I'm probably gonna get a star tracker, but I watched the video, I'll link it below, where it explained that it really comes down to the amount of time, the total exposure time 
versus consecutive exposure time. I was under the impression that if you were going to have a really clean, vibrant, detailed image of the nebula and everything up there, that you would need to have consecutive seconds of exposure, like a three minute exposure. But he went over this and he proved it. He, he did examples where um, just a, a bunch of stacked images is just as good as one really long exposure. So we're shooting the foreground. We got these volcanic rocks and I, I love how they're so jagged. They're so jagged. It's what I showed you earlier. They're so jagged and they all, and I feel like they're all leading. I do feel like we have this one in the front here, right? And I do feel like all of them are leading if you look at it, right up into the sky. They're all reaching up into the sky. So I actually think that this could make for a pretty nice shot. Overall, I'm really pleased with this image. Now it's not going on my wall, or anyone else's wall I'm sure, but it's exactly what I set out to do. When I look at this picture, it makes me think of the edge of a distant planet. What's beyond these rocks is completely unknown, like a final viewpoint into the cosmos. That, or a random pile of rocks just off the 395 in California. They definitely say beauty's in the eye of the beholder, so I'm curious to know if this photo takes your imagination anywhere. Let me know in the comments. Here's a shot of the same cluster of stars over Cyclops Arch in Alabama Hills. This one I actually would hang on my wall. I really like how it came out. Uh, it, it's, it's a little bit of a different edit. I'm still trying to figure out how to edit this cluster of stars with the astro modification. Uh, let me know in the comments which style you prefer. Uh, the Cyclops Arch look or uh, the Fossil Falls look. Here's a shot I took a couple years ago, headed into Death Valley of the same winter sky. Obviously this one is not with an Astro Modified camera. And here's a closer look of the nebula I highlighted earlier with and without the modification. So what do you think? Is it worth it? Is it worth getting an Astro Modified camera so you can see everything that outer space has to offer? Or do you like the look of what we see with our eyes better? I think I like the Astro Modification. I would say that it is definitely worth it and I'm really excited uh, to continue to experiment and of course when summer rolls around get the actual core with the Astro Modification. And as always, if you like the video, let me know, give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one.